Science for Quarter 3, Week 8 Sources and Uses of Heat Energy Matatag Curriculum Bansang Makabata, Batang Makabansa With me, Teacher KMT Good day, kids! Today, we will learn about Sources and uses of heat energy. Here are the possible objectives for today's lesson. Number one, describe how heat energy can cause changes such as cooking food, melting ice, or heating a room. Number two, identify sources of heat energy such as stoves, ovens, heaters, and the sun. Number three, develop an awareness of safety considerations when dealing with energy sources and devices, emphasizing fire safety and prevention. Short review. Guess the sound game. This activity is to be guided by your actual teacher. Lesson Purpose This lesson purpose is to be guided by your actual teacher. Unlocking Content Area Vocabulary Number 1. Energy Is the ability to do work. This means that energy makes things happen. The sun, as the principal source of energy for the earth, makes other forms of energy possible. Number two, energy transfer is the process of moving energy from place to place or from one object to another, but the form of energy does not change. Number three, heat, transfer of thermal energy from one object or system. Number four, thermal energy, the energy inside of something because of the movement of its particles. Kids, remember! In scientific terms, heat refers specifically to the transfer of thermal energy from one object or system to another due to a temperature difference. Thermal energy, on the other hand, is the total kinetic energy of the particles within an object or system. Therefore, while heat energy is often used interchangeably with thermal energy in casual conversation, it's more accurate to use the term thermal energy when referring to the energy contained within an object or system. Explicitation. This activity is to be guided by your actual teacher. Now let's proceed to the sources of heat energy. Number one, the sun. The biggest source of heat energy. It warms the earth and helps plants grow. Number two, fuels. Things like wood, coal, and gasoline, when burned, they release heat. Number three, electricity. It is a form of energy that powers many things we use every day like lights, TVs, and computers. Number four, friction. Rubbing two objects together can create heat, like when you rub your hands together. Let's now proceed to the uses of heat energy. Number one, it is used for cooking. 
We use heat to cook food on stoves, in ovens, and on grills. Number two, heating. Keeping our homes warm in winter with heaters and fireplaces. Please take note that heaters and fireplaces are commonly used in countries with colder climates such as Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, Finland, and the United States. Number three, it is also used for making electricity. Power plants often use heat to generate electricity. Number four, industrial processes. Factories use heat to make products like steel and glass. Work example, conduction and convection. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct contact. Imagine touching a hot metal spoon. The heat travels from the spoon to your hand. Let's take a look at this picture. In short, conduction means energy is transferred by direct contact. Let's now proceed to convection. Convection is the transfer of the heat through the movement of liquids or gases. Think of how warm air rises and cool air sinks. Now try to close your eyes and imagine adding 10 to 15% warm water to the pail of normal water before washing your body. Do you think the pail of water will get cooler or warmer? Observe the following pictures. Your palm becomes cold when you place an ice cube on it. Your palms become warm when you hold a cup of water. Heat comes from the fire to the hand. Why do you think your hand did not become warm when they had ice in their palms and in what direction the heat moved? Good job! Heat moves from our palms to the ice cube. What direction the heat moves when they touch the cup of warm water? Good job! Heat moves from the cup of warm water to our palms. Kids, remember, heat is a form of energy and that it always moves from warmer object to cooler objects. Lesson activity. This lesson activity is to be guided by your actual teacher. facts our body naturally has heat it naturally produces heat to keep us warm with an average temperature of about 37 degrees celsius this heat comes from the energy our bodies use to keep us alive and active learners takeaways let's answer number one why do we need to stay away from intense heat? Great! We need to stay away from intense heat because it can burn our skin and make us very sick. Number 2. What could be the result if you leave your mobile phone, laptops, and other appliances charging unattended? 
Good job! If you leave your phones, laptops, or appliances unattended, it can cause fire. Number three, what would happen if you leave the food you are cooking unattended? Correct! If you leave the food you are cooking unattended, it can burn and cause a fire. Number four, why do our parents always tell us to close the valve of our LPGs after cooking? Good job! Our parents tell us to close the valve of our LPGs after cooking to prevent gas leaks, which can be very dangerous and cause fires. Evaluating learning Multiple choice. Read carefully the questions below. Choose the correct answer from the choices below each question and circle the letter corresponding to their correct answer. Number 1. Which of the following is the best example of heat energy? Letter A. A ball rolling down a hill. Letter B. A light bulb glowing brightly. Letter C. A pot of water boiling on a stove. Letter D. A fan blowing cool air. What is the correct answer? Good job! The correct answer is letter C. A pot of water boiling on a stove. Number 2. Which of the following is one way that heat is used in our homes? Letter A, to power the TV. Letter B, to run the refrigerator. Letter C, to cook food on the stove. Letter D, to light up the room. What is the correct answer? Good job! The correct answer is letter C, to cook food on the stove. Number 3. Which sentence is not true about heat or thermal energy? Letter A. Heat can only move from a warm to a cool place. Letter B. Heat energy can be felt as warmness. Letter C. Heat moves from a cool to a warm place. Letter D. Heat can change states of matter. What is the correct answer? Good job! The correct answer is letter C. Heat moves from a cool to a warm place. Number 4. When we feel cold, we sometimes wear warm clothes. How do warm clothes help us feel warmer? Letter A. They create heat energy. Letter B. They trap our body heat. Letter C. They absorb heat energy from the air. Or letter D, they reflect heat energy back to our body. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, they trap our body heat. Number 5. When you touch a hot pan, heat energy moves from Letter A, the pan to your hand Letter B, your hand to the pan Letter C, the air to your hand Or letter D, the air to the pan What is the correct answer? Excellent! The correct answer is letter A, the pan to your hand Well done, kids! What have we learned today? Today, we learn about In scientific terms, heat refers specifically to the transfer of thermal energy from one object or system to another due to a temperature difference. Thermal energy, on the other hand, 
is the total kinetic energy of the particles within an object or system. Therefore, while heat energy is often used interchangeably with thermal energy in casual conversations, it's more accurate to use the term thermal energy when referring to the energy contained within an object or system. We also learn about the sources of heat energy, namely number one, the sun, number two, fuels, number three, electricity, number four, friction. We also discuss the uses of heat energy. Number one, cooking. Number two, heating. Number three, making electricity. Number four, industrial processes. Kids, thank you for listening. I hope you have learned. Please do not forget to click the like, share, and subscribe.